Okay, guys. Hello. Welcome to the next Tipsy Talk. Uh, this is episode two. My name is Tanoa. And this is our guest, Madison. Say hi. What's good? All right. Introduce yourself. What do you mean? You just introduced me. Don't make me laugh. I almost put my wine out. <laughs> You I was know like, what I mean? Do like an introduction, like. Um. Hi, I'm Madison. <laughs> I go by Maddie. <laughs> I don't know what type of introduction you want out of me right now. Okay, it's fine. So, first things first, what we're gonna talk about is penises. <laughs> Madison, B F F R. Okay. 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 <laughs> Who, who, I got this. Let's go. So, Madison, how do you feel about penises? <laughs> so you can't be be fucking for real. <laughs> um, I think they're a lovely thing. Yeah, they're a pretty cool invention. I mean, God, God took his time on that one. Yeah. He thought that through. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Now, I think that, so my original plan tonight was to talk about um, how to suck penises correctly. Oh my God. Because, that would be... <laughs> because a lot of women don't know how or, you know, they don't like it. But me personally, a girl like me, I enjoy <laughs> it. I feel like it's really fun. And it really turns me on. Um, now, I, the reason I'm calling it a penis is because I don't like the other word. I don't like any other word. Like, I feel like penis is more, like, feminine. I don't like to say the D word. You know what's crazy? What? I don't like the word penis. I'd rather say dick. <laughs> <laughs> like, penis makes me cringe. But I know you saw, you call it a penis. So I- I'm going with it, but it's so cringy right well, now. Well, you can say what you feel comfortable with. I just don't like it coming out of my mouth. Like, I don't <laughs> mind hearing it. I just don't want it to, I don't want to say it, you know? Understandable. Sorry, but hear me drink out of in the bottle. <laughs> okay, so, Madison, in your opinion, because, you know, I'm kind of like the more shy friend, how would you say is the correct way to suck a penis? <laughs> Um, first of all, I have a mother, and if my mother ever hears this, I'm so sorry. Um, um I mean, all right, you uh, seem shy, so I'll break the ice yeah. because you're the friend that's not shy, so that's weird. I feel like if I'm gonna start describing it, it's gonna sound real out of pocket. <laughs> okay, so this is ho- what I like to do, and Madison can go next and she wants to be shy. So oh, what God. I like to do is I like to kiss on it first. That's my favorite part, okay? It's the beginning because personally, I feel like it should already be hard. Like, when girls on Twitter be like, oh, I want to feel a girl in my mouth. Um, It needs already be hard. Like, what is you talking about, girl? It, it should have been grew. The thought <laughs> of me kissing on it should have made it grow. So anyways, I like to kiss on it first, you know, that I do a little lick, you know, just to make it moist because you got to get the inside of your mouth ready, you know, and like, you know how when you finna eat, I don't know, because I know there's vegetarian stuff, but you know when you eat a Slim Jim and your mouth start watering, because you know what it tastes like and you ready to eat it, like your favorite food. So that's me. <laughs> that's me. My mouth be watering. That's how I be kissing it, licking on it a little bit. Then, okay, I be putting it straight in my throat. Now, I know that seems like I'm moving too fast, but no, because you got to choke on it to really get like, you know, like moist, like the inside of your mouth for it to get like the rubbery, it's not rubbery, but you know, like the elastic moist, to get the elastic moisture, I be putting it straight back in my throat. Like, you know, you got to wiggle it a little bit back there. So then that's how I do it. Then once you get that first, oh, oh, that's my favorite, that be making my coochie tingle. (laughs) Like, I, I feel like everything about it is just so, like, romantic. Like, that's romantic to me. Like, I love giving head. Like, I don't know. That, Bro, that's you're going to have to put a warning label on this podcast. Because... 
Well, that's just how I feel, though. Like, this is some real shit right now. Yes, like, and then, like, I be moaning, and sometimes I be thinking in my head, like, I wonder if, because y'all know I'm married, obviously, but I'm like, I wonder if Nelson think I'm faking because I'm moaning, but no, like, I really be getting turned on for real. I've always wondered that, too. If boys like if. Yeah, like if they think I'm faking, but I like I like to do it because I feel like it makes them feel better. Mm-mm. I'm doing it because I feel good. Fuck them. Like, I'm dead. I don't not know how to them. explain it because obviously it's not a literal like feeling of pleasure for me to moan, but it's like, mm, like y'all know when y'all eat food and it's so good. You're like, mm, this shit's so fucking good. Like, I mean, but that's I like feel. that's how I mean it though. Like. Yeah. I know they enjoy it, so I enjoy the fact that I know they're oh. enjoying it. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know. I feel like just me enjoying it, they be enjoying it, but or he be enjoying it. But I feel specifically, like, it be me. Like, specifically, I don't even be in my head. Like, I just be like, wow, I'm having a blast. Like, this is fun. Like, Yeah, I feel like I'm the same way. But that's why, like, the way you describe it, that's literally how I do it. So, like, I don't even know how I would say... <laughs> I like to. I like when he be um putting it in my throat too. Like when he be effing my throat. <laughs> I only like that to a certain extent. Really, I feel like that's fun. I like that. <laughs> I don't. Know. I feel like some men are way too aggressive. Way too aggressive. I be like, all right, nigga. Like <laughs> my throat is in poor. Like, do you think our throats feel like coochies when they do that? I'm, you want to know something wild? This is super off subject, but you know there's technically two different types of textures of vaginas. I heard there's like a million. I heard there's a soft, like it's either soft or it has like ridges in it. Mm. And like, I want to know what I have. <laughs> Why don't you put your finger in there? Together? I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I don't know. I feel like I feel like you have to get in there to know. <laughs> I, I really in there. I really do. Yeah, I don't know. Like, but that's just my experience because I know there is a lot of girls like how Gucci Man and Keisha Kyore, like how he said he wouldn't make her do that because he feel like it's uh like disrespectful. Like I don't know how. Like, no, I think that's just a part of sex. Especially if the girl enjoys it. Like, I can understand if she doesn't enjoy it and she don't want to do it. And the man is, like, making her or making her, like, feel bad so she does it anyway. Like, that's a different story. But, like, if you truly enjoy it, then I don't think it, like, makes you dirty or, like, you're disrespecting me. Like, I like it. (laughs) I like it. And, like, I'm awful. Like, I like to get slapped and everything. So, it's just, like... Yeah, I feel like that's too far. Like, I remember you had said... You had... Not said, um... You shared this one video, and they was effing in the bathroom stall. He slapped the shit out of her, and you was like, I like that. Like, uh... If you slap me, we done. Like... No. Like, beat me the fuck up. Like... That's crazy. Catch a, catch a DV. Catch a DV charge, because... <laughs> Getting getting your ass whooped while having sex is crazy. I mean, hey man, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Nah, so um, I don't know. Like, I guess just on the topic of like second penis, like I don't really have because I'm probably gonna have to do this topic twice on this show because I did want to do it with Ashley because she's very like um, <laughs> specific. <laughs> Like, she's really good about talking about sex. So I really want to do this topic again. So I'm glad that we got to do, like, a short little visit. Um, but, okay, I do want to say that it's... I feel like if you don't like it, try it again. Try it tonight. Do it. No, for real. <laughs> and, like, Make it and, fun. <laughs> and I'm thinking, like, maybe you don't like it because, like, you'd be choking or whatever. But here's what I used to do, okay? So, well... <laughs> When okay, well, anyways, here's what I heard people used to do. I'm dead. <laughs> what I heard people used to do is like if you take your, I think it's your left thumb, if you ball your uh hand into a fist but have your thumb tucked on the inside and then hold it down as hard as you can for like 30 seconds, I think it is. 
um, you won't have a gag reflex. Now, people like me <laughs> and who, myself <laughs> who really, yeah, like people like us who really enjoy it. Um, I think eventually, like you stop having a gag reflex. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I have a gag reflex. Like, it's not like just I'm just taking like eggplants down there, but. <laughs> But, like, it's very small. Like, it's not to the point where I think I'm going to throw up. It's just, like, it's, like, slightly, and that's what I think helps. The yeah, because I feel like, yeah, it produces more saliva, so it's, like, a good gag. But, yeah. Like, I feel like my dream is to die like that. Like, not literally, but, like, to, like, choke on it, and I'm die- I'm dead. Like... <laughs> Like that's like, like, that's what me on. Like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Never mind. So dying, sucking dick turns you on, but I'm wrong for wanting to be slapped. Nah, no, nah, that's wild, Madison. <laughs> but dying is. <laughs> I can't. All right, I just ran out of wine. I drank it too fast, but. Girl, we just started. We on the first subject still. <laughs> The listen, same thing this already go. Be, this got to be like a thirty minute episode. We got Girl, we already on twelve minutes. <laughs> twelve minutes. No, but Max, seriously, like, how do you feel specifically? Like, specifically, what does like sucking penis make you feel like? Like, seriously, this one's for the this one's for the boys. Like, they want to know. They want an insight into our brains. Like, do we like it or do <laughs> do we do it because we love them? Um, no, I fully enjoy it. And I think for me, it's a power thing because like I can make a man so vulnerable in that moment and something about that just makes my whole body like, I need that. Like it's a, it's really a control thing for me. We're not going to talk about that. You said PTSD. But yeah, no, for me, it's a control thing and it's like a dominance thing. Um... You know, like, I don't know. I just like it. Like, I always have to. It's not something that I had to, like, grow into liking. Like, first time off the bat, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm true to this, not new to this. Because... Girl, that's crazy. Cause, no, listen, listen, listen. I was going to tell you that. Listen, listen. Because the first time, the first time, the first time, I swear I was a pro. I was like, I swear to God, bro. I was like I was nervous. I was like, "Ooh, can I do this?" Like, can I really? Bro, do this? it came natural. It came natural. But it was like I already knew what I was doing. Like I've been here before. Somebody like, like you know how like Capricorns is the goat, like throat goat for real, for real. Like, <laughs> like not Capricorns goat. are the goat. Like we're better than other signs, but like we're literally like a goat. Like, <laughs> it's literally a goat. <laughs> so I'm not trying to start no zodiac, you know, arguments, but not like, no yes, zodiac. like. It's- I don't know, like, because when you said that, I was like, for real, because it was like, it was never a learning curve. It was always just too It was always just fine. Yeah, like, I was just always, I was always that bitch when it came to that, so, I don't know. And that that makes me want to bring up, I'm sorry, were you about to say something? I'm sorry. No, I just, like, girls who just don't like it, I just can't relate. I don't see how you don't like it. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't know. Like, it just kind of feels like maybe you didn't try the first time. Or, you know what? Maybe it stunk a little bit. But even, like, if it stunk, like, you just need to get out there in the first place. Like, he clearly didn't care about you. So. Oh, you know what? No, because I don't want to change subject yet because I want to talk about. Okay, Madison. Spit or swallow? Swallow. Okay. Interesting. So, why do you feel like that? So, you're swallowing every single time? Yes, spitter is for quitters. Spitter is for quitters. Spitter is for quitters. Faithfully, every single time. You never like, mm, I don't feel like it. Eh. No, dead ass. Every single time. So we get young man on this phone right now. Open the lines. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Open the lines. Caller number one. Caller number one. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So this is how I feel. So I feel like... Um, for my husband, uh, I feel like, you know, nut has, like, a specific taste. And I feel like it tastes like 
and I don't know how to explain it, so the, I'm explaining it to the best of my senses will allow me. You know the smell of like flowers, like um, like flowers, like how it's like a water, yeah. like floral smell. Yes, it's like that with like, but like warm. Like I don't know how to explain it, and it's like. It's not nasty, so yeah, like I can swallow, but it's like every time, mm -mm. and it's also like sometimes I have more fun when I don't swallow because it's like more like slippery, like it's more fun to play with. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Now, I can't say like swallowing, like it makes less of a mess, but... Um, I would say, I don't know. Like, I've only ever, yeah, I've only ever once in my life experienced a bad, like, cum shot. And even then, I still swallowed it. I gagged, but I still swallowed it. <laughs> But this was also, like, back, like, in high school when I was, like, a sophomore. No so. deal, though. What we not gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details. No I was memories. a poor sophomore year, so yeah, no memories. But this uh, one of those just... conversations, no memories. <laughs> but no, yeah, just basically, um, I don't know. Yeah, like I've never really had like a bad one, so it's just like, why not? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like if anything, like sometimes the consistency of it will irritate me or bother me. But like sometimes it's like super thick, and it's like I have to like drink something after because like I feel like my throat is like coated in it yeah I can see that um I never like experienced it being thick but I feel like just the well I don't know because I guess it's always it's like milky but like milk is watery so I don't know how to explain that but I think you know anybody who is sexually active know what I mean but I don't know, like, I feel like swallowing every time, like, that's crazy. <laughs> Man. Like, I feel like you are a real freak, like, so, okay, so let me ask you, do you think you're a freak? Yes. So what is a freak? Um, someone who is sexually curious. Okay, like what? In my like- opinion. Like you're you want to know stuff, or like you want to no, know like, stuff so you do stuff. Yeah, like you like you learn new stuff to do it basically. So how do you um, learn? New and stuff? then like you're more willing to try stuff that like mm-hmm. your partner wants to do. Like you're more willing to like come to a compromise, so you know y'all both can like. So you eat ass? No, <laughs> but. If I had a husband, I would. If you had a husband, I okay. Yeah. Let me tell you. I feel like um, I know many people that do. Uh, okay, because let me clarify. Because obviously, like Nelson. Okay, but I'm. I mean, for the girl, because obviously there's a double standard, right? Like females are like, I want him to eat my pussy and my ass. So obviously, yes. Like I get mine behind eating, but I feel like it's a double standard for men. To get theirs eaten. And I think it's okay. Like, if that's true and too, like, that's fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just feel like I'm scared. (laughs) Because boy (laughs) butts are kind of hairy. Oh, no. Like, it would have to be, like, some full-blown, like, we got to prepare for this to happen. (laughs) Like, (laughs) bro, when I tell you I'm about to be nice with the Clippers, like, we're going to get you. (laughs) You're going to have the uh, the manscape. Man, that's what I tell you, guy. I'm about to get him all the way together. Like, we're going to get you right, baby. Um, shower. <laughs> you know, we good. We in that guy. I feel like we you put a lot of guy. pressure on me because I'm married and I don't eat. <laughs> yeah. And I never I mean, tried it. Well, and, and, I, and I'm not saying, like, it's gross because I don't think it's gross. I don't think it's anything to judge anybody for because I feel like when it comes to sex, that's something you should definitely, like, experiment with, do whatever you want, whatever they like, like, as long as it's consensual. But I feel like I'm not I'm not at the point mentally where I can, like, have him bend over. Like, like what's the position? Like, the, I feel 
like that's the first thing that I gotta get past. Like, is he bending over or is he standing up and I'm spreading? Like, like I'm really trying to get my mind in the right spot to figure out what is the position. Yeah. And then once I get past like the curve of, oh, it's okay for him to like be doggy style on the bed while I'm eating his ass. Like, okay. So now that we have that, it's like, okay, so okay, let's say his butt is like freshly waxed, very fresh. Um, I'm okay with him being bent <laughs> over. Like, it's like, okay, then I have to lick it. And it's like <laughs> it's like I a, mean... it's like a um, hmm. Like, it's something that I need to, like, an acquired taste. <laughs> I just said that. But you know what I mean? Like, it's something that I need to figure out am I comfortable with on my own. Because he's not, like, he's not in, into that, I don't think. Like, he doesn't like yeah. anything like that. Like, after his balls, he's kind of like, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't, don't touch yeah. But it's that like, maybe I just don't know how to do it. And it is something that's, like, a secret weapon. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I've always been open to it, but I've never done it myself. So it's just like, that's just like one of those things. Like, that's definitely like a marriage thing for me. Um, I don't think I would ever like do it with just like a long term boyfriend or anything. Like, no, like we need to be married. Um, But I'm definitely open to it. Because I like to get my mate. So it's just like, I feel like it would be the same. Like, how it feels for us, I feel like that's how it would feel for them. If you're talking, I cannot hear you. No, I was um, actually <laughs> talking to Sienna. Um I'm about to add her to the call. Okay, I was like, I don't know what's going on. I don't even know how to add nobody. But, no, so, yeah. Uh... I know what you mean by like waiting for husband. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. That's how I felt. Um, I don't know if it's gonna ring when I call her, so I'm don't know if we should keep talking. Okay, okay here she is. But yeah, like because that's how I felt about um anal. I felt like I was gonna wait till marriage, but I still oh, haven't done that either. <laughs> oh my god, you know what's the funniest thing? The first time I ever did anal, I was actually coming home to you and see Anna. Traumatized. Sienna, if I you have traumatized. if you have headphones, can you use them? Because I'm about to I'm gonna upload this once we finish. Oh yeah. Did you tell her what we were talking? About? Yeah, I told her we were talking about eating ass. Okay. <laughs> as long as she's up to code. So Sienna, okay, so we already talked. So like the I guess the comfortability is kind of gone. But if you feel comfortable, we were explaining how we like to um give head. Do you have anything to add to it? I was just saying that I like to kiss it first, then I like go straight to the throat because like that's how you get the good lubricant. And then from there, it's just kind of like making love. Like I'd be moaning and stuff because I'd be enjoying it. I'm kind of the same way. That's why you guys are my friends. <laughs> how did I lose? Oh my lord, I'm over here going crazy. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to focus on y'all. It's okay. If you're like you're moving five. paper, though, please mute it. It's okay, no rules, but yeah. Because you sound like it, one of like the teachers on a Zoom call right now. I like know, I'm when sorry. It's just that it. when I upload it, all you hear is us talking. So like, if you hear like whispering and stuff, it's gonna be like distracting. Oh, okay. makes okay. sense. Makes sense. But yeah. Um. So yes, yeah, Sienna, like. Did you have anything else like to feel about like giving head? Like, how do you feel? Are you spitting or swallowing? Um, I would say I'm spitting. Oh, I swallow too. That's that's what I said. I feel like it's a mix of both. Master out here talking about she swallow every time, never fails. Like, you know, I do. Are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. Um, I haven't reached my point. I ain't got no kids yet. Exactly. <laughs> I feel like you gotta mix it up sometimes. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like swallowing every time is like, oh, child. Let me, like, like. <laughs> no, I also think that that's why sometimes like men are obsessed with me because like it's an every time thing. Mm, I'm with true. it every single time. Sienna, you be eating ass like men ass. 
No, I've never done that. Me either. Would you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I said I'm open to it. I don't know if I would. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad we all had the same exact reaction to that question. <laughs> Yeah, I I feel like the only thing with doing that is like, well, I already told Madison, obviously, and they already heard me say it, but I feel like it's the steps that my mind has to go through. Like, what position is he in? Like, is he bent over? Is I'm on the floor spreading his ass cheeks? Okay, and then, like, is he shaved or not? And then it's, like, too much, like, too much thought. But, like, I understand women who do it because it's, like, you know, it's, like, how sucking penis is, like, quote-unquote part of sex or eating Gucci. It's, like okay, it's a part of sex, like, pleasing each other is a part of what y'all do. So it's not yeah. any type of judgment or any type of, oh, that's gross. It's just mentally for me, it's like a couple of hurdles that I'll have to get past to be ready to do that. I think I would too, because in my head I'm like, okay, I don't know, maybe I would think like they're gay. <laughs> <laughs> they're gay. Which there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. It's yes, that's the problem are. with that, you know. My sister is gay and all, but I think that's what I would think the whole time. Like, I wonder if like they be thinking like a doozy in their ass or something. I don't fucking know. I would hope not. I would hope not either. But I feel like that's what my mom would tell me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I just. I feel like if Nelson was really like, babe, like, this is what I want. This is how I feel. I think I might like it. Then I'll be like, okay. Like, we'll take you to Bikini Waxers 2.0 or whatever and figure it out from there. But I'm good. I don't know how willing I would be. Like, the first week, I will be like, I don't know, babe. We'll figure it out. No. Madison is just down to do, like, anything. Yeah, pretty much. Madison has always been like that. <laughs> Not me literally on the podcast. <laughs> literally. Yeah, man. I'm just, I don't know. It's in me. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you definitely get that from your mama. Um, it runs in the blood, ho. <laughs> runs in the blood. <laughs> What do you mean by that? <laughs> I know exactly what you mean by that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if my mom ever is, I'm You so see sorry. all them kids your mama got? Oh, yeah. We love she you. Got five kids. She get it from my mama. All right, now. Not too much. <laughs> yeah, not too much of a Miranda because Teresa got four, but we don't know. <laughs> not <Right>. too much. <laughs> Look, my mom got four. I'm, I'm not, I'm not knocking it. Hell, oh, my mom got four or more kids. That's funny. That's how awesome. you know they're in the streets, baby. Yeah, I think I drink too much wine. I'm getting hot, <laughs> girl. You don't even know a bottle, so <sighs> that's not shocking. Okay, so um. The next topic, because I'm really still in topics from, like, my other episode, but the, the thing is, okay, let me explain. The thing is, is, um, I didn't have time to create a new episode because I had did my makeup, but then we weren't on camera, so that's why I'm just trying to, like, free ball it. I know that's not the right word, but anyways. So the next topic is going to be the most embarrassing sex experiences. <laughs> Oh my god. So like for me or for him? For us. So who like, like who would like to go first? Well wait, 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 say that again. What are we gonna talk about? The most <laughs> embarrassing sex experiences that we've had. Oh dang. I don't even know. Okay, I wanna hear Madison I first. I, don't, okay, I gotta hear Madison, Madison you can go first. first if you want, yeah. If you don't wanna oh go first, god. I'll go first, I guess to break the ice and then I feel like for me to talk about this, I'm gonna have to go to my car. <laughs> okay, so so, so while else to go first, and I'm okay, so while you my get way to my vehicle, <laughs> while you get to your car, I'll go first. So I feel like for me, I guess it was embarrassing for both of us because I didn't know what to do. So it was more embarrassing for him, I guess. And then in my situation is embarrassing for me. So this is you know me and Nelson, my husband. So, we were, like, in high school still, 
And we're both like innocent, but Nelson's like more innocent. And yeah, he's definitely innocent. <laughs> and we were in my living room because okay like the dog is out we used to have sex in the living room so we were in my living room and we were being like romantic like whatever whatever and he had put it you know he put it in but like as soon as he put it in <laughs> oh my lord it was over right. it was over what? There. wait so- what <laughs> what <laughs> Wait, start like it over. Soon. Start it over. Is start it over. So, okay, so, like, we were in my living room. We was kissing, being romantic, like, touching, whatever, whatever. And he, like, he put it in. Like, he put it in. But as soon as he put it in, like, it was it. Like, that was it. Like, that was done. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I'm sorry. Like, did I do something? Because I didn't know. And he was like, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm embarrassed. So, we was both sitting there embarrassed. And we both didn't know what was going on. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, this is so he probably thought the same thing and I think I made him feel bad because I was embarrassed so I guess he thought I was like mad at him but I wasn't I was like thinking maybe my coochie was like lopsided or something like what's wrong <laughs> what's that's wrong? awful yeah, can y'all still hear me he better now yeah I can hear you but you sound kind of robot uh, Siana, you need to mute yourself from all that, <laughs> all that noise. I know, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. No, you're okay. Madison, are you ready? What the fuck? Hold on, do I still sound robot No, you sound normal. Do I sound normal? Yeah. Um, okay. So... Most embarrassing sex experience for me would have to be okay. So like, it's kind of like a yeah. It's gonna have to be like a throwback. I'm not gonna say his name because me and this man don't speak no more. But um, basically, I had met this boy when I was in like I think my junior year of school. He was like older than me. He was like five years older than me. Like way like he was like 21. I was like 17. Red flag number one. Um, <laughs> so basically, um, me and him was like fucking with each other, or whatever. He picked me up from soccer practice, and uh, we went to go like eat and stuff. And then like we ended up like fucking like in the car, like car sex. And I remember like him asking me like, "Would I ever do anal or whatever?" And I'm like, "Yeah, you know, like I'm open to, but I just, I just never done it." And he was just like, "Oh, cool, like." whatever like he just like played it off like it wasn't like a big deal um but like (laughs) um we're having sex or whatever and then like next thing i know he like full like full-blown stuck his dick fully in my asshole mind (laughs) y'all i've never done this before it was literally fucking traumatizing. Um, I let him finish. <laughs> like, I ain't no bitch. But that shit hurt so bad. And then, like, that's when I came home. And then y'all were in the house. And I think that's why I was so embarrassed. Because I literally couldn't walk. And I remember Sienna was laughing so hard. And y'all literally handed me, like, a frozen bag of vegetables. And I just sat on it. Okay. Okay. Because... Why do I remember a scene where I gave you some vegetables? Was that the same night that Siana made me force uh, pierce her belly button? <laughs> I think that sounds like that night. was the same night. I think it was because I snuck out. Like I literally just went to go like fuck him, and then I was coming back in, and yeah, that happened. And then I remember y'all was like in the kitchen doing something. I think that's what was going on when I walked in, and. Y'all were like, why are you walking like that? And I was like, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> like, I was traumatized. I remember I couldn't even talk at first. And I just went and laid down in the room. And y'all was like, Madison, what's wrong? <laughs> so, yeah, I think, yeah, my first time doing anal. That was the most embarrassing thing ever. I'm dead. Well, at least you didn't poop. <laughs> I heard a lot of people who don't be prepared, they be pooping. Girl, thank God. And the fact, like, we literally just ate and everything. Like, you are a bold person. You're a bold person to do that. Sounds like a blast, but I'm too scared. It was not a blast. 
So do you feel like you still like anal, like to this day, or is that TMI? No, nah, it's tipsy talk. Do you still oh. like anal? You said no. It's not too much, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, no, honestly, I don't. Um, like full blown anal, no. I'll do like um plugs and stuff, but like even my butt plugs are like super small. Like they're like the equivalent to like a thumb. Um, yeah, I can but do yeah, like that's can, all I'll I do. Can't do a, <laughs> a penis, that's that's crazy. I feel like everything's crazy at this point. Because personally, because, okay, first of all, I feel like Madison a real freak, okay? I feel like she's a freak. But She's these, always been a freak since, like, high school. Yes, and, like, I feel like I'm a freak. She was always, like, like, a little bit freakier than us. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know, because I feel like once I got older, I felt like I was able to be more, like, whatever, I'm older, I can do this. So I feel like I'm a freak, but I feel like I'm not, like, not... I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm as like brave, I guess I should say. Like if it's, if it's something that's brought up to me, like, Hey, have you seen this? Have you tried this? Do you want to do this? Okay. 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 Like I'll say, okay, but I, I'm not like, and if I like it, I'll do it again on purpose, but I'm not like yeah. the researcher. I'm not the, you know what I mean? Like I'm more like, okay, whatever you want, like whatever you want, <laughs> but that's it. Like, I don't know. I feel like... So do you guys watch porn when you're having sex? Sometimes. It depends. Like, it's not like an every time thing. That's actually one thing I have never done. And I've actually Dang. always wanted to do it. That same. I've never done it. I just don't know, like, how I would even start that off, though. Like, do I need to, like, start watching porn and be masturbating before he comes home and he, like, walk in on it type shit? Like, how do you even... Right, because I watch porn when I masturbate, but I don't yeah. think I've ever, like, done it. I feel like when... you just, I don't know, because, like, the times that we did it, I just put it on. Oh. And then I so, back. like, how did you do that? So, like, you went on, like... No, so we have a Google Chrome, and it's, like, always on, because oh, you know, so it plays, you just, like, the beach, yeah. like, screensavers. So I just right. connected it, and then like they was like effing, and I just looked at him like I want that to be me. I want to do that, Ow, which is okay. kind of confusing. <laughs> it's kind of confusing because the kind of porn I like, like I like, okay, no t- tipsy talk. Okay, so I'm like TMI, but I like like watching like threesomes. Like that's what I'm going on. Because, Same. I don't, I don't watch just lesbian porn, but at the same time, like, cause I need to see a penis, but at the same time, like, that's not what I'm really looking at. So I like watching threesomes. That's like what I like watching. I it's- feel like I'm a mix between threesomes and just straight, like, lesbian porn. I really like, like, scissoring. Yeah. I think that's my favorite. I feel like, like I that's like my favorite that thing until to watch. I found out it wasn't realistic. Like, until I um, found out. It is realistic if you, like are actually gay and know how to do it. <laughs> right. I was going to say. That is <laughs> fucking fantastic. I was going to say, you probably have to know how to do it, though. So, Sienna, um, what's your, sorry, what is your um, most embarrassing, like, in your opinion? It doesn't have to be super embarrassing. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, something you thought you were going to die with. Like, it's just something that's, like, you know, you kind of put your head down, like, yeah, you Oh. oh lord it's so many people it's so many times <laughs> I don't even know like I don't okay let me think okay um fuck I've had so so much sex before Jesus That's how I, feel. I think it was like a time <laughs> I was a little embarrassed well, it was not time this was like a couple weeks ago but it was the time I was having sex in my car and I'm whispering because my baby daddy is in the other room but it wasn't <laughs> him it was not him so <laughs> I was in the car man this is going to be an apple so <laughs> that's okay <laughs> I was I was in the car. We were at the beach. We were about to have sex on the beach, but I didn't have a blanket and I didn't want to ask like sand all off my ass. I was like, let's go to my car. And girl, I literally squirted so much that it got on my ceiling in my car. And I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> because I was like, Oh 
my god like it was just everywhere <laughs> and i was just like oh my and god I know it was back on you too. yes oh it was so embarrassing it was so embarrassing my seats were soaking wet i'm dead that girl super soaker bye <laughs> Oh, yeah. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I don't know. Like I feel like no. Let me tell y'all. Nelson always trying to make me sleep. He always be having trying to have sex on my side. Like he be wanting my side to be the wet side. Like I be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, we doing it on your side this time. No, you know what's funny? I make it a point to always do it on his side because I, I think he. Does I'm not that sleeping to me. in that shit. I what on Nelson his side? Like, me. who does that? Y'all don't have sex over the whole bed. Sometimes it's specific size. I don't be. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly say that, especially like in a king size bed. Like, it's definitely like a certain side that I'm on. Yeah. Lord, maybe I'm just like a crazy oh, person. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> right. This nigga just like connect think... for it. Is it? Nah, I'm I trying to think... look. You need to record that next time. Literally the whole bed be wet. <laughs> Not the whole bed. Now we just gotta sleep on the couch. No, I'm we dead, literally right? like we literally be putting like blankets down. <laughs> just sleep on top of the blanket. Bro, I always like I always think of doing that like after the fact. And it makes it worse because like I it get so wet when I'm having sex. Like it literally be a puddle. Yes. Yes, and then and I it'd be like, like a, um, it'd be there for forever. Like it takes forever to actually air dry. Like you yes. gotta wash the sheets at that point. It's terrible because I, I have like, like a um. Gucci water dry slower than regular water. Yeah. Man, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, like, that shit stays on the covers forever. Yeah, that's funny. Oh, can we have like another? I, I have a question that I want to ask. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay, wait, what is the most... Go ahead. Um, we're taking a little intermission. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> not, her, not her using big words. She's hilarious. I don't think I've ever heard Tanoa use a big word like that. <laughs> She's gonna crop this out of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad how she said it's an intermission and didn't tell us how long she's got to be fucking I'm off. Bad, oh. Guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what were you saying, Massa? So my question is what is the most what is the most odd place you've ever had sex at? You said odd place? Yeah. Yes, like odd or like wild. Like you wouldn't think oh, you yeah, have sex I, I want to hear you what you got to say, Madison. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. And do I have to go first? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because mine's not wild um, at all. The most wildest time I've ever had sex was in my office. So you fucking your boss? No, like my nigga oh. came and I See, fucked him in my office. <laughs> oh, yeah, and my boss is gay and he just got married. Congrats, oh, babe. Congrats. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I fucked in my office. Um, I had I've had sex in a, a Waffle House bathroom. That's crazy. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's wild. crazy. Um, mine isn't really wild. I guess, like, the circumstance is more wild than the place. Like, I used to, like, frequently have sex in my parents' living room, like, while they were home. In what? their room. Same. Like, while they were home yeah, in that's their wild. room, along with my yeah. cousin and, like, literally everybody else, because y'all know, like, everyone used to live in the house at the same time. So, yeah. So, it's not so much the place, it's more the circumstance. Yeah, because they could have walked in at any moment. I did that before. I remember I having sex in Nelson's car and my mom walked outside knocking on the window talking about, you know, are you in there? Girl, where else would I be? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, she was trying to see some booty. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. No, I remember, I'll never forget. Me and 
Nelson. We went to, because it was daytime. And after that stunt Teresa pulled, because I was literally the night before when he got off work and came to see me. So we drove to the back of my neighborhood. <laughs> so we did the things in his car. And my mama called me. I was like, I tried to sound normal. I was like, hello? She was like, mm-hmm. Where you in no with that? I said, oh, what? She, well, I was like, Teresa. I was like, nothing. Like, we're on a date. She was like, mm, what y'all doing? Girl, goodbye. I said, I'm going to call you back. You know what I'm doing. I thought, heck. I'm dead. She was like, you fucking. Exactly. Right. And I never told my parents, like, I never officially announced, like, you know, my defloweration. It was just kind of known, like. Mm. I feel like all of our parents knew. <laughs> yeah, my mom definitely knew I was fucking. My mom used to help me sneak out of my stepdad's house when I was, like, 16 to go fuck this boy that was, like, way older than me. Oh, wait. She understood. Remember we got home? We got brought home by the police to your mom's house? Yeah, and she lied like you was she was your mom. That's crazy. Because your parents would have literally never let you back to my house, like ever. I was they already thought I was on awful. punishment just because you got drunk by yourself when I was at home doing nothing. That shit was wild. I was on punishment still for like cannot. a whole seventh grade year, <laughs> and I didn't do anything. I wasn't even with you. That's why I'm like, why was I on punishment so long? I mean, technically, I didn't do anything either because I'm not the one who spilled the fucking beans. So, <laughs> there's that. Fuck that. Nigga. Ass- you ruined seventh grade summer. My thing is like, <laughs> nigga, you didn't see my face. Like, I'm looking at him like, shut the fuck up. He didn't even stop and say, like, what's wrong? Like, he's just talking. Madison was so fucked up, bro. She had like, like five blunts in the whole bottle. Like, she was lit. You're not going to stop talking when I'm not saying anything. Lord. And we used We're to like talk every day. 13. Like he was my best friend. Like, we talked every day. You don't know how I talk to you on FaceTime by now. To where when I'm who are you talking about? Strange. It was this dude named Zane. He was Vietnamese. Oh hmm. my god, bro! Like, like, bro, get a hint, catch a hint, catch a hint. Y'all know that song? No, just me. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it was from Victorious. Oh, yeah, no. You got me on punishment for a whole school year. That's like more than yeah. 65 days. <laughs> that shit was absolutely awful. And then I logged out of my kick. I was like, man, I'm glad I could delete everything when you log out. Boy, because the way you would have got caught up. Man. My whole youth was in that kick. <laughs> oh, I remember we used to do like the group chats and stuff on there. Just me and hoes too. Not me though. I was innocent. Girl, bye. Oh, hold on. <laughs> now hold on. Now hold on. Hold on. That's crazy. No, you were literally just a hoe by association because I was the hoe. <laughs> and I was like together. I was like a semi I was like a semi ho turning into a crazy one we all became friends like the three of those like it just it got worse I feel like <laughs> I feel like it really upset me senior year because y'all know like every year at PC there was like an exposed page and it really upset me that senior year all four years of high school, no one ever had no type of news or nothing on me. No thirst traps, no nothing. They gonna post a normal prom picture talking about I be hoeing. What? What's your proof? I'm dead. Oh, wow. I think the most upsetting thing about that whole exposed page senior year was the fact that they said I was irrelevant. They said this whole went irrelevant. Because I'm not a hoe no more. I'm not relevant. That's a hell of fucked up. Oh. <laughs> I think I had moved right before. Same. I don't. You know what? Because 
what grade did you move in? Because I feel like we were sophomores when we first became friends. So you must have moved when you were a senior. Well, I moved like right before our senior year. Because she moved like right before our junior year. No, she couldn't have. Because I feel like. No, yeah, you were there our junior year. Cause I yeah, like so I it was, was like, senior. it was like the, yeah, I moved like, I think it was like in the the end of junior year. No, she moved her junior year when we were sophomores. Because I remember really? that was my Barbie era. My sophomore year was my Barbie era. I had the half a pack down <laughs> and my child was always showing. I had the pink Well, we were all, we were all in the same grade. Because that's what you have to be. We're guys. all. We're all 23. Dang. I really thought you was a great both of us this whole time. Dang. I'm such an airhead. I swear we were all I was going to say, she was there when me and Makia got in that fight, and that was 11th grade year. Well, what was the year that, like, Madison fought that girl? There's no way she was there 11th grade year, because she would have went to Florida with us. No, she was there 11th grade year. So where were you, Sienna? Huh? (laughs) She had to move. No. Listen, I think that's what it was because look, me and Makia fought in February of junior year. So that was 2016. I think Sienna moved between February and April because yeah, remember, we were I had Panama in April and Sienna was Yeah, because no I more. had moved to Florida in 2017. I was in Florida in 2017. But we graduated 2017, so that's what I'm saying. Why was she not in Panama then? Well, actually, no. I don't know. I. I feel like she had to move junior year. Like, she had to move between I moved, February I, and April. Yeah, I moved, like, I think it was the end of 2016. Girl, I don't fucking know. Don't get me lying. I just remember that fight. Because you remember, I fought that girl and then broke all my motherfucking nails. Yeah, because I definitely remember that shit. And that was definitely junior year. I was just talking. And, um, also, if. You know, if she happens to hear this, I swear there's there's no bad blood. But I was just talking to Nelson. I was like, Sienna was the first person I ever seen in real life dog walk somebody. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, that was the same. That was the first time I have never in my life witnessed no shit like. I that. think she like, what was she like, finna run up on you or something, Madison? Was she like, was trying oh. to remember. She was finna sneak Madison, so then I had moved like, you know, politely pulled her back. Um, yeah, and then I just started whooping her ass. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, because she yeah, was mad. She, like, she got this. up, and she was Werewolf, very confused. Like, like, I think she thought you did that to her. So she ran after you, and then you did what you had to, I guess. <laughs> Lord, I remember, like, all of my fucking... You remember I had, like, nails on. Every single one of my nails were broke. Every single one of my real nails. <sighs> I had to, like, ass pull. across the street. Oh my lord, it was terrible. I've never experienced that before. Like I, I had saw that and I was like, dear God. <laughs> and she was like, Yeah, I really was it. I was like <laughs> I remember she was like, Madison didn't beat me up, but Sienna, she did beat me up. He was like, nah, bitch, we beat both we both of us beat your ass. Like, you got beat up both times. Yeah, but it was okay. Like, like we beat both of us ass. Like, it's okay. Like, it's like okay. I remember recording it. I wish I still had that Android. I remember recording it. And y'all was out of breath. I was like, if y'all don't damn power up, like, what the hell? <laughs> you bitches was I was in slow motion. I was like, what oh is going God. on? Because, like, Lord. At that point, she didn't go like, to school. I already beat you up, so just leave me alone. Like, I was done we, fighting. She literally you know, did it. I was literally like, having to call and, like, talk to yes. y'all. I was like, bruh. Like, goddamn, can we be done? Like, the point was proven. I can't even remember <laughs> who was driving, whose car were we in? Because I remember, like, it we was literally Tiffany. fought her. It was Tiffany or Sabria. It Tiffany. Was Justin yes. Ledford and Tiffany. Yes, because we literally we met her at her motherfucking door before she even got off the bus. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Oh, I was at the door. I just got Lord. makeup on my brand new dining table. Oh wow! Well, dining, dining chair. I'm pretty sure my son wiped a booger on my wall the other day. Girl, <laughs> please! <laughs> I cannot wait for y'all to get kids. Come be like, girl. I'm gonna the thing, right? I'm gonna be like, do y'all know 
wish you did today. I want a daughter so bad. I want a daughter. So bad. Ugh, I'm so glad I cannot have no kids. Cause I'm. If you want a daughter, like just imagine how like you acted. Like that's what I thought about when I had kids. I'm like, good kid. That's my thing. I was a good kid, and the only reason ever, 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 ever I ever had smoke with my parents was because I was a good kid, and I felt like they was always trying to attack me. Like. I don't be doing nothing. Yeah, like, but like, you you were sneaky like we was. Because was they like were strict for no reason. Like, I would never have had to ever be They were strict because just... you got to think. Like, I say that. Like, I say, like, I thought I was not going to be a strict mom. And yeah. then I, like, was like, damn. I be wild. I was wild the fuck out. Like, hell no. I'm not going to let my motherfucking kids act the way I acted. <laughs> So it's like in my head, I'm like, damn, I gotta be strict, cause Lord, my fucking boy, I got boys at that. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to have to beat no little girls up. I really don't. Yeah, I feel like so. I want to not be strict because of how I was. Like, I feel like I want, right. I want my kids to be able to say, like, hey, mom, like I smoked weed. Like I smoked weed when I was twelve. Like that's crazy. And it's like, I want my yeah. kids to be able to tell me, hey, like, you know, I, I tried I it out like, and I like it. So I feel, like, I, I feel like I'm the same yeah. way, but I feel like I would be kind of how, like, you know, Madison's mom was, you know, like, okay, if you don't smoke it, smoke at the house. Yeah, that's, that's what I I'm feel like, I want to be like that. I feel like, I feel like that's how I would be. I'm, I feel like because I have this and I will. Ever, you know, I got my tubes tied. I feel like I'm gonna be that mom. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be that mom that like, be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a friends that he had another girl over. I'm a snitch. Yeah, I feel like if I have a son, I'm a snitch too. Like, I'm gonna be like, is are you supposed to be his girlfriend or are you just his friend? Because I'm gonna let you know now, he got other friends that be over here. And I don't know about that yeah. stuff because one thing about it, I feel like I'm so sensitive. Like my heart, oh my god, my heart is so sensitive, y'all. Even to this day, like if I see my son being an f boy, I'm snitching. I'm blow his whole spot up because why are you doing that? And it's different if he like, nah, she knows she a, like she knows she is. She knows she a hoe. Like, oh okay, whatever. But don't be lying. I don't like that. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve. Like, Nelson, no. Like, don't be lying. I don't like them little white lies, che- them cheese lies, whatever you want to call them. I don't like it. Like, what is that noise? Right. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm trying to open some gushers. <laughs> I'm a mute myself. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that's... We're back. That's my thing. Like, lying is, like the number one thing for me. Like, please don't lie to me. Like, that shit will set me off. Yeah, I feel like that's how I'm going to be with the boys. Like, I feel like as soon as you try to bring another girl, like, uh-uh. My son just had another bitch over here yesterday. Who is you? Yeah. Like, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, beat his motherfucking ass. <laughs> you know? Beat his ass. And I'm going to just be sitting there on the couch eating my popcorn. Because I'm going to be like, that's what your ass eat. Because you got you to think, like, all the boys we used to talk to in high school over the board. I ain't talking to nobody in high school. That's a damn lie. Yeah, I ain't talking to nobody in high school. I know. No, because y'all see, they said that only people you talk to 18 and older count as who you dated for real, for real. And the only person I talked to when I was eighteen was Nelson. And if we want to talk about seventeen, what was what was what was the other boy's name that you were like in love with? I have no idea who that. Lord Voldemort, is. and we're never gonna bring his name up ever. The I haven't man. seen that. I'm sorry to that man. I don't know who that man is. Period, boo. <laughs> I think he had dreams. <laughs> what is it's my thing? cousin? But no. we're not gonna talk about it. We are live. What? what is where is he? What is he doing now? <laughs> I will see now. Next question. He's a bum. Yes. He's a bum now. Oh okay, wow. Okay, hold on. That's not. We're not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's not a bum. Oh, it's my cousin. I love him to death, but no, not for Tanoa. He's a loser. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, no so guys. Well, well, you know. <laughs> oh, I just died laughing. Oh my god, I had to yeah. mute myself. So, Next uh, I don't remember any of Madison's high school boyfriends. Girl, I, cause fuck them. I, I remember one of them. I remember one of them was, was Gerald. That's the only one I remember. Honestly, I don't remember. That's Bitch, I used to date everybody. Girl, I, I used to just Gerald. like have. That's it. I used. I I think I only he had. Says it was Gerald, Brandon. Who else? Brandon. And Brandon. You remember Brandon who went to high room and he cheated on me and I like burned all his shit? Oh, he was a pretty boy. I told you not to mess up. Y'all are like boys that be mm. too cute. Like they got a cute smile and an earring. Ugh, why are you like Girl, that? no, that was the last pretty boy I talked to because I was like, yeah, I will fucking murk you, nigga. Like Girl, not I, doing this again. Because I don't know if I'm allowed to say <laughs> that name, but yo, yo current, he a pretty boy. He's not a pretty boy. Yes, he is. That nigga fine as fuck. Oh my God. <laughs> That boy is a pretty boy. You That's my man. Boy. And I'm going to stick with all of them. My green man with the little ass water bottle. <laughs> Alright, we didn't come over here to talk about my fucking traumatizing relationship. No, that's that fucking me worth me. it. <laughs> that reminds me of um, a fucking ham sandwich. Why you ain't just eat it cold? That's what that reminds me of. That's why that's my favorite. <laughs> that's hilarious. Okay, y'all. So, what else do y'all feel like? Because I feel like I wanted this one to be kind of like a sexy episode. And I feel like at first it was sexy, then we start talking about kids. And heartbreak. Oh lord. <laughs> so I want to know: Do you guys know? Because I feel so bad that I don't know personally. Because I lost count a long time ago. Do y'all know y'all's body count? Yes. Yes. Oh lord. <laughs> do you want me to say it live? I'll do it. You I'm not saying. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> no, nah, don't do me. I ain't up there. You, you know what? Yeah, I ain't you know up what? there. Don't do me. Don't do me. You ain't even close. I'm gonna, that's I'm fun. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a list tomorrow because some are like blackouts and I just forget. Like, it was like a one thing, and I, you know, I don't know if it's just me, but like, if I have sex with you and it's not good, like, I will literally act like I don't know you the next day after. Like, I don't even know you. Like I'm gonna well, delete you on. I'm gonna delete you on Facebook. I'm gonna delete you on Snapchat. I'm gonna block your number. I I'm gonna just act like I, I don't even know you. Like, and this, I probably have like four or five of those. Yeah. Um. Do y'all feel like when y'all in love, um, nobody else is really cute except for the person you with? Nah. I'm no. I'm, I'm, I'm a cheater. Well. I'm a cheater. So. <laughs> I ain't even go. I ain't even go for it. Nothing doesn't believe me. Like when I tell him, like, I mean, yeah, he's handsome, but he's not like he's not you. Like, I'd be dead serious. Like, I can't. I feel like can't no other dude get my coochie wet for real. If I mean, there's a difference between me thinking like someone's attractive and me like wanting to fuck them. Like, yes, yeah. I find other men attractive, but like nine times out of ten, if I'm like really in love with the nigga, like, yeah, you niggas is cute, but y'all not him. Yeah. So it's right. like. I can oh my that, god! Yeah. But yeah, that's like how I feel about it. Like I, because I'm not a cheater for real. Like I, I get my lick back, but like I'll never that's, be the one to cheat first. Yeah, that's um, me. I would say I'm, 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 I'm the same way. <laughs> honestly, I'm the same way. Yeah, because I was, I was, I was so faithful, so faithful, and then he. To know what getting too emotional. He, he, she he said, "Hold on." on. No, 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 no. I wouldn't, because you know, I wanted to ask you, Sienna, because I have to ask you yeah. first because we know what happened earlier. So, Sienna, what is the craziest um, request you have gotten sexually? <laughs> what is the craziest? What's the cra- like? It doesn't matter. Like, don't even be embarrassed. Like, because you didn't. Like, there's no. That you did so okay not, so okay no, okay so i i didn't do it i didn't do it okay <laughs> but it, it wasn't like it wasn't a person i was like 
talking to like that. It was like a person that I was just, you know, I'd be having my gold digger ways. And so he was just like, he would always just be like, okay, send me some videos and I'll send you a bunch of money. And I'm like, all right, whatever. And then it was one time he was like, can you send me a video of you like squatting in the grass peeing? Okay, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, like, that's too I swear to God, dude. I was like, oh, wait. How much money was he offering? Yeah, he, I don't know. he he was only offering like five hundred. No, that's but I was not like, five hundred dollars. It was, like, it was because you got to think too. Is that blackmail? Because <laughs> <laughs> is five hundred dollars worth you showing the video you pissing in the grass? I don't know. Well, that see, like me, see me. I don't ever like. All of my videos and pictures, I, like, barely show. I don't ever show my face. Like, the only time you will really catch me if I, like, sneak, if you'll see my tattoo. But I barely try to show my tattoos. Yeah, but, you fucked in that department. Yeah, like, I like I just don't like. Because I be feeling like, okay, or not. Like, you ain't gonna put me on blast. No. Uh, <laughs> so, cra- peeing in the grass place. is crazy. But the- I, did, I did send him a video of me peeing on the toilet. And he sent me, like. Six hundred dollars, but me like spotting over the grass and being that's like, crazy. I gotta be. I think I gotta be drunk because that's like a drunk night. Like you know, we just quiet and pee. Yeah, you like, know, imagine can pee in like one second. <laughs> right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, like how okay. if I have like to how pee, Madison? Have yeah, it's like how Madison popped the squad out there. You know, in the girls parking lot. Literally, I was so like, like, drunk. My request is no, nowhere near as crazy as that thing because I felt like okay, I want to hear. How does it get? Okay, my, I want to hear. It. He just he wanted me because I don't want to say he just because like to me this was wow. But after I hear Jerry, who is this? Well. Some random, some random guy. Okay. He wanted me to record a video of me like sucking my own toes. What? I feel like that's, that's so funny. Far. Like I feel like that's, that's a stretch. That that's because can you even do that? I'm not. Well, I'm a little chunky. I, that's I'm not that flexible. Girl, my okay. stomach would prevent me from I mean, doing that. Can... My mine would too. Like my <laughs> rolls. Yeah, I can do it, but it's like, why do you want that? That's weird. But people like. I have a lot of dudes that like have foot fetishes. Like I will post a picture of my feet and they'll be like, oh my God. I feel like a foot fetish is okay. But like when you want me to put my toes in my mouth, yeah, I feel like that's, that's weird. Like, that's something that's you weird. need to like imagine yourself. You know, like I could send you a video of my feet, like rubbing them together. And then I could send you like me licking my lips and then you, you know, put two and two together. But I'm not combining those things in real life. That is so funny. That is so weird. I've never. That is weird. What was yours, Madison? <laughs> oh shit! I was trying my hardest to just not say anything and avoid this conversation. <laughs> and she did it too. That's why she tried to be quiet. <laughs> oh, she did it. Oh, no, I wanted. I mean, it. I don't know. I I don't know what she has in mind. Um, I think the wildest request I've ever been asked in my life was um. This boy asked me to piss in his mouth. Oh, bitch. He asked you, you to what? It? He asked you to what? He asked me to pee in his mouth. Did you do it? Oh. Hell no. It's okay. Look, well, I'm, I'm a freak, but you. I ain't. Nah. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might do some things, baby, but this is not no R. Kelly. Maybe piss on it. Baby. <laughs> yeah, have, nah, y'all, have, have y'all ever gotten head while on your period? No. Nah. Okay, so I can't do anything on my cycle because, like, I have a weak stomach. And the times that I have tried, I started crying because I felt gross. So. I'm good. I have. That's how I get them. So bond. <laughs> that's, that's how I get them. That's how I get them. Hey, let's, just put a let's just put a towel down. So we'll is, be okay. It, so, okay, okay. All right. so since y'all did it because I know T- uh, Trina was like how she make him eat it with her period on so is he licking like the hole too or is it just the clit and like the hole is like covered just Bro, the, the hole will be covered and it's just the clit 
So he's I've not gotten like he hit. Blood. He's just like, yeah. yeah. Okay. You have no. like a tampon or something in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because that's what I always imagine. I mean, I hope this isn't too, you know, brutal for the people listening. Mm-hmm. I just really wanted to know because there's a lot of people I feel like, in my opinion, out there. I can't be the only person who doesn't understand that. So that's all I wanted to ask. Like, is he vampiring it up down there? Or is it just like... I don't know. Like, some men just don't care. But, like, I feel like it has to be, like, me, personally, for me not to be a little girl child, it has to be, like, me being fresh out the shower. Yeah, like, same. you know. Because, like, I don't want it. Like, you know, like, the end of the day, like, that period smell, like, I don't I don't like it's it. Like so like Yeah. So, like, I feel like we got to just be, like, straight out the shower you know, like, you can eat it, because when you just start having sex, like, you're gonna, the blood's gonna be there after that, so I just feel like just right after the shower is a little bit better, because right after the shower, you know, like, you're not bleeding heavenly when you get out of the shower. I don't know. I feel like no matter so, yeah. what, like, I can't, like, I'm just gonna cry. Like, I, I don't know, I'm just not built for... I think I just be that's honestly you. like a really dangerous thing to do too because that's technically like a form of voodoo. Um, yeah, I've heard that's how you like have people like obsessed with psycho. you, and it's like sometimes yeah. it's like not in a good way because it can be like obsessed in a bad way. Yeah, well, maybe that's why. Um, hence why I'm in my situation now. <laughs> well, Crazy. I don't understand though because like me and Nelson have done it before on my cycle. I just don't like it, but like. He's not crazy, is he? Well, he but you have crazy. to have the intentions of, like, making him, like, and fall in love with you, basically. Yeah. Like, you have to do it with intent, but if you do it with intent, like, that thought in the back of your head, then you're technically practicing voodoo. I think that's hoodoo, right? I don't think that's voodoo. No, hoodoo's different from voodoo. Voodoo's dark magic, and no, that's what that voodoo, is. No, voodoo's a religion. Hoodoo is, like, what black people do, like, like from family... Hoodoo is more so healing, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hoodoo's like, remember that time my mom took my uh, daddy's sock and put it by the mailbox and the sky turned yellow? That's hoodoo. Like, that's, like, it don't have to be healing. Well, like, but I'm saying, like, a lot of people who practice hoodoo, like, it's more in a healing sense. They don't really use it for, like, purposes like that. Oh. Okay. So like, if it's more so of, like, a lust-like thing, like, you know, like, you want, like, him all to yourself, like, this is my man like I don't want him to be like I tried to know other female like it's like a power thing that's like voodoo because I, <sighs> I only say I don't know because I had spoke to um like a, a African lady and she explained to me like voodoo is just like strictly a religion like yeah they be doing like I don't want to say witchcraft because I don't want to like degrade it obviously because I don't know the like, science but she basically just explained it in layman's terms to someone who wouldn't understand as like voodoo is just a religion and hoodoo is like what black people practice like what grandmas be practicing like put your you know blood in the spaghetti and shit like that That's how yeah. she explained it. i've always heard it was the other way around but i don't know i'm i don't is it weird i've like, like always wanted to put like period and blood in spaghetti to Me see how too. it makes it got i want to see like is that real <laughs> I feel like I would do that in something else. Like, I wouldn't put it in spaghetti. But then I'm like, how do y'all get the blood? Like, what do I do? Like, I ain't thought that through. Like, do I need to put, like, a little... to be? That's my question. And then, like, do I I eat it, too? it has to be a small amount. Like, do I have to eat... So I don't have to eat the spaghetti? So what am I going to eat when I cook the dinner? Girl, you better put it in separately. You make his bowl, and then you put it in that bowl. I'm, oh. I'm dead. Nelson. You tell me how <laughs> Nelson, let me all at you. Nelson, <laughs> Nelson already look. Nelson cut you off. That might get you your money back. Exactly. Right. Right, right. right. <laughs> now hold on. Now hold on. Now hold on. <laughs> we might have came up with something here. <laughs> right. He's going to be like, I'm going to buy your French drinks too. Period. Right. <laughs> Period, bro. <laughs> Well, guys, this was um, a very interesting episode. We are an hour and 14 minutes in. And I think this is a good ending. closing point. <laughs> yeah, talking about, uh, you know, all the cycles and whatnot. 
So, um, is there anything you guys would like to say before we disconnect? Um, and you can also shameless plug your Instagrams and stuff like that, because one day we will be famous. Um, no, it's been real. I'm going to be back on the show very soon. So, <laughs> hopefully next time with wine. I know. Yes. Hopefully next time we can prepared. do it. Hopefully we can do it, like, in person. Oh, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's the goal. Or on video, because I did do my makeup, but that's okay. Yes, yeah. we need to do it on video. You just have to let me know when. Yeah, I just need more preparation done. And then I just need to smoke, because I might be a little more funnier. <laughs> I'm smoking right now. <laughs> Girl, I'm so tired from making cups, I can't even function. I am I'm too tired. excited for my purple baby. I am too, I it's so cute. I have like six other people want that exact cup. And I literally, the pink one, like those are like my top sellers during this season. And I did not prepare. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy, I went to Starbucks. I was like, okay, I'm going to buy six cups. I'm going to see how everyone's feeling up this year. Yeah, I I already sold all six and I have like five other cups I have to make. So yeah, appreciate you on that one because I needed that. That's yes, I love. Dude, I know I love me some spooky season. <laughs> do do I can't wait to that? start doing. Yeah, I do like anything, girl. I, I can play like anything. So question, on no serious, serious question. If I like, if I wanted you to like do like spooky sw- themed sweaters for me, could you do that? Yeah. Bet say less. Could I, I could do like shirts. That I really I do want. Like all... Could you do like um spooky like lingerie? I don't, I don't know, know how that would, work. How would that work? I you don't have know. a demon on your pussy? Like, I don't... Right? Yeah, yeah. We have <laughs> demon time. Demon time for real. <laughs> yeah, because when you think of, like, back to the period, because when you think of spooky, you think of blood. And what you want, like, blood drops everywhere? I'm dead. <laughs> when you're I'm feeding him, dead. when you... Look, you're going to wear it when you're feeding him the, the spaghetti. <laughs> Right after the spaghetti, is my turn. We're going to see if it works. Oh, Lord. He's going to be like, take all these clothes off. <laughs> this is terrible. I'm going to jail. Whoever hears this is going to be mad at me. They're going to be like... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to be making more um, shirts and stuff. We need to plan a cruise, you guys. Okay, hold on. Girl, I was literally just telling you know this earlier. Okay. Okay. Girl, just crop the video. <laughs> okay, guys. End so, it and then crop it. Yeah, I forgot to end it earlier. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can follow them on Instagram at so you guys' names. Moreland with two D's, M O R D L A N D P. Oh wait, hold up, I'm terrible. I don't know my Instagram name. <laughs> Not she had to go look. Oh Lord! Oh, CC King sixteen. Period. Two e's. Okay. Bye, guys, and have a wonderful day. <laughs>